these things. I try to open your mind, your horizons, to be a visionary, to be like my mom. No, don't get married. Go to Athens, go to college, university <coughs> rather, I should say. I became a teacher, very proud. My ancestors from a saint, Saint Cosmas. So I'm very proud for this. So when Ted Kennedy came to New York, actually I was shaking. I was like a shrimp, skinnier than you. <laughs> and I had also two children. <laughs> yes, yes. And two schools to run. Yes. I said, okay, I will do it. I've done my best. And then Bill Clinton, Lula, from Jack Rosen, through my friend, I was introduced. I want you to help. I want you to be the chair for the Greek Americans, for the campaign. I said, no, I can help you different way. I can bring you $1 million tonight. <laughs> How? If you put John Katsimatidis, a Greek billionaire, a great friend of mine in Marburg, and you put also Sakopoulos, tonight you have money on your table for the campaign. I did it. But my name is still there. Always I'm an advisor to the Clintons. Always an advisor to Surveillance to every politician, to Cardiff. I was the first one, before even CNN, <laughs> that I took the interview from Michael Dukakis that he's going for president. The first one, before he announced. I'm very proud of my accomplishments. And now I'm working for Hillary Clinton. If my part were working, I'd like Sissi to open and see a private letter from Hillary Clinton yesterday and from Kuma. Lula, help and I will help. But, now goes to you, young kids. 2004, supposed to have the Olympics, Athens Olympics, we did it. But prior to that, we did not get the Olympics. And I said, Hillary, do you want money tomorrow for the lunch? I'm sorry, to Sandra Siba. You want money tomorrow for the lunch? We were 89 women from all over the United States, top CEOs, and Ron Brown, he may rest in peace. Back then, he was a minister of uh, commerce. He's a, he was assassinated, actually. He was in Yugoslavia, the plane that fell down. <coughs> I told Sandra, if you want the $10,000, you can have them if Hillary comes tomorrow and say, book me. I'm going to Greece. I swear to God, drop me dead. Mm -hmm. I heard that Hillary was in the corridors. I was listening. Mm -hmm. I said, do me a great favor. I want an answer now. It's 10 to 3. The banks are closing. <laughs> she said, yes. Uh, Thomas, you can send the photos. I get the photos, all these things, everything. She came, Hillary, the next day and said, good morning, everybody. But before we go any further, Lula come here. Lula blackmailed me today. I say, I don't think so me. No. You, I mean, I'm in the United States, and Coca-Cola. Blackmail Greece, not to have the Olympics. But they will. At least, let's go and light the torch. And we were hand in hand together in ancient Olympia. And then with President Clinton, first row, Lula. No one other Greek or Greek American with them. But my cup of tea is when I brought Sean Connery to Greece, said Sean Connery, everyone Greek tycoon wanted to pay him money like water. No one find his Achilles heel to take him to Greece. I did, and I'm very proud of it. I told him, Sean, 
no exhibition for Michelin in Greece at the museum. Ah, 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 unless you come there. No, I'm not coming. No, I'm busy. Goodbye. I was closing the phone. That was going like four or five times a day, and I have that phone unit because I save everything there. <laughs> he was in the Bahamas. Then he called me up. What do you think, Lula? I can come, but I can come with British air. I said, over oh, my dead body. You're coming with Olympic if you like it or not. He did come with Olympic. He did came to Greece. Our uh, suites at the Continental, they were next to each other. Every morning, 7 o'clock, even if you go back to the hotel, like 6 o'clock or 7, Lula, breakfast time. I say, Sean, I'm sleeping. Lula! <laughs> I say, okay, I'm coming up to the club. Tell us that you know, you know that you've been there. It's a beautiful club, only for us, me and Sean, nobody else there. Sean Connery. When we had an interview with a journalist, I was. It was the mayor of Athens, Mr. Vermopoulos, back then. Now he's with the European Union. It was his wife, Micheline, and Ren uh, Janu Kolar, a betrayer, a very bad person. That's he stole money from me. And I don't care to say publicly, because even when I was in Monaco now with Prince Albert, I asked him, how is Janu? He said, Lula, I'll talk about it. <laughs> Say okay. <laughs> and Sean, when he was asked the question, Sir, what makes you come to Greece now and never before? He put his arms around me and said, I don't know what's my Lula. What means that, children? I'm asking you. Again, I'm not bragging. I'm telling you, I'm showing you the way how you can achieve the unachievable. Sean Connery couldn't ask for millions of dollars to come, and he came for this. I gave to him three tickets, first class from Olympic. I was in charge, still as in documents, everything, an invitation, PR director, Lula Loyola for Yanis. And I couldn't do anything I wanted with him. Anything. We were hand in hand together, all over. Now with Hillary. Is my iPad working? Check. I have email from Hillary. Charged. Open. Okay. Well, I cannot bend, that's why. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, whatever you want in this life, you can do it. Once, Carolyn called me, the colleague's woman. Lula, I gotta have an event. Thomas, I want you up here for that. So you say that, what happened? I was at Memorial Hospital from operation, and then I had a cast. I broke my arm. <laughs> also, Thomas came and took pictures. He said, I must have. I'm sorry. Fine, what's he right now? I don't know how to hide my emails. Okay, here in home, Said, I need fundraising. But I'm in the hospital. But never mind, it's okay. Thomas and I, Thomas brought Chinese people, very credible, and I told them I need so much money now. I'm bringing the doctors one here. The doctors, and we did the meeting at the doctor's office. I threw out the doctors. <laughs> they had no place to go. They will come and say, Lula, you better do this now. Say, not yet, not yet. Later, later, later. And then, when I raise the funds with Thomas, I say, now, Caroline, you can go. She could never believe. She got up, hugging me and kissing me, and said, my sister, I will never forget this. I did this one. Is it from here? Yeah, read it. Okay. Yeah. So it says. Um, Again, it's, no, you can close it. It's not for bragging. Okay. You can close that. It's not for bragging. <coughs> that means I don't care if it's Hillary Clinton. I don't care if it's Nancy Pelosi. I don't care if it's 